Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 985. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why Mark Cuban's investments are crypto related. Now specifically, the article says that 80% of his new investments outside of Shark Tank are crypto related. So that's a very interesting statistic and we're gonna dive deep into why Mark Cuban is so into crypto. And hang on to the end of this podcast because I will be announcing the winners of the drawing that we've had for book reviews. It's always interesting to follow where billionaires are investing their money because to become a billionaire, you have to do something exceptionally well with money. And once you have it, you have to do something well in order to maintain it or to even grow it. So I'm always fascinated to know what billionaires like Elon Musk or Mark Cuban and some others are doing with their money. This article came to us from CNBC and it was written by Taylor Locke. And it says, billionaire Mark Cuban is mostly investing in cryptocurrency nowadays. The investments I'm making now are not in traditional businesses, Cuban said at a recent episode of The Problem with Jon Stewart podcast. In fact, 80% of the investments that I make that are not on Shark Tank are in or around cryptocurrencies. One type of organization in particular has captured Cuban's attention and that's Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, DAOs, or DAOs. That's really where I look to invest, he said. In theory, a decentralized autonomous organization is a blockchain-based collective that isn't governed by one person or entity. Any changes to the DAO's rules or governance must be voted on by its members. To gain these voting rights, as well as other powers within the organization, Investors typically hold the DAO's governance tokens. So let's pause there for a minute and talk about that decentralization. That is so important in crypto because you don't want to have centralized control. That's what we're under now with the Federal Reserve controlling all of our money supply. What we want is decentralized money and decentralized power so that the people actually have control and they can vote in the governance system to make changes when they want to. But the other thing is with cryptocurrencies, oftentimes a little bit of the crypto is destroyed when it's used, which means it's actually deflationary, not inflationary. That's one of the issues with our current money supply because 40% of all the money that's been created in existence has happened in the last two years. So the supply is completely out of control. The article goes on to say, all these new businesses are being formulated now that take this new approach, Cuban, an investor on ABC Shark Tank and owner of the Dallas Mavericks said. He added that there will be game-changing businesses that come from these types of organizations. In particular, he predicts that industries like banking and insurance are going to change thanks to these new technologies. In the past, we had banks as the central controller and that's where our money came from and that's where our money went to. But when you have a decentralized system, it's what they call a trustless system, which means you don't have to have somebody in the middle who is controlling everything. And that's where banking is really going to get revolutionized because we don't need banks to send money from one person to another anymore. The article goes on to say, Cuban is also bullish on smart contracts, which are collections of code, that carry out a set of instructions on the blockchain and power decentralized applications. Smart contracts are instrumental in forming DAOs, as well as empowering other crypto projects, such as decentralized finance or DeFi applications and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. All right, I wanna pause there. If you're not familiar with non-fungible tokens, NFTs, 
That's simply a a -a one-of-a-kind work of art or one-of-a-kind work of music or one-of-a-kind original contract and allows the owner to have control of that contract and decide if they want to distribute pieces of that contract to others. Like if you had the original recording of a song, you could decide to sell copies of that song. So it's simply a digital original version, a one of a kind, if you will. The article goes on to say, but DAOs and their governance tokens can be risky bets for investors. Financial experts warn to only invest what you can afford to lose since they deem cryptocurrency to be a volatile and speculative investment. Well, I want to pause there too and say, yes, of course, it is more speculative than some other investments. And there are pitfalls with cryptocurrency that we have to look out for. But once you take proper security measures, you can dramatically protect your cryptocurrency. And the speculative nature that we've seen of cryptocurrency has also been on the upside where they have dramatically outperformed other investment asset classes such as stocks, bonds, even real estate. The article goes on to say, nonetheless, the positive outlook isn't particularly surprising from Cuban, who has consistently been outspoken about his belief in smart contracts. Cuban is an avid investor in the crypto space with a cryptocurrency portfolio of various digital coins, NFTs, and investments in many blockchain companies. But even Cuban is realistic about the burgeoning industry. He called the cryptocurrency space casino-like because it's still so new. It's like the early days of the internet, he told Stewart. The exact same thing is happening now. It's 1995 for cryptocurrencies. So I want to pause there and say 1995 for the internet was very, very early. And that's where I think we are with cryptocurrency too. This is very, very early. While the news wants to report that we're late and this is some sort of a bubble, the opposite is really true. To have a bubble, you have to have everybody already in. That's what the definition of a bubble is, when everybody's already invested in it. That we are far from today. And in 1995, not everybody was invested in the internet. That didn't come till five years later. So we are very early in this investment. And what we're seeing are spectacular growth rates because these companies are young and have use cases that are amazing and have the ability to grow and become very large companies because the ability for them to disrupt traditional finance, traditional banking, traditional insurance is so tremendous. And that's exactly why Cuban is investing in cryptocurrencies because of their potential growth. So the fact that he says it's 1995 is something I completely agree with and just goes to confirm that we are very, very early in this investment. Congress is talking about regulating cryptocurrencies like they do stocks and bonds, like they do any kind of commodity or any kind of investment. So they're looking at just clarifying where do cryptocurrencies fit, how do they get taxed, and thereby they will give them more legitimacy to allow other investors like pension funds, like endowments, like brokerage firms to be able to invest in cryptocurrencies. So I see legislation as a very positive thing coming for cryptocurrencies. The cryptocurrencies that are already following the ISO 20022 regulations for banking, for example, the ones I recommended in my book, Those I see as already following all of the regulations that are going to be coming. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal for any of those cryptocurrencies, but others may have a hard time following all the regulations. The article goes on to say, it's not to say there aren't a lot of problems. Cuban continued, cryptocurrency is hard to understand and it's a hassle, but 10 years from now, there's going to be those that succeed that will create its own economy end of article. Yes, 10 years from now, cryptocurrencies will be integrated into our system and we'll wonder how we ever worked without them. Just like today, we have the internet and we wonder how did we ever function before the internet existed? It certainly has made our life a lot easier. But when the internet was first here, like Mark Cuban was saying in 1995, all it was at that time was like a billboard on a website 
these internet sites didn't function, they couldn't do anything, they couldn't buy anything, they just had information posted. And so they were really educational sites. It was really billboards at that time. So it was even hard in 1995 to see the future of what the internet was going to grow to and what it was going to become. And now we have cryptocurrencies, which is like the internet of money. And it's hard for us sometimes to understand how things are going to change in the future, but it is going to change banking, investing, insurance, major industries are going to be disrupted in a good way with cryptocurrencies. They're going to be more efficient. They're going to be lower fee, and they're going to give you more control and power over your money instead of the financial institutions. So I see this as very positive, and those are reasons why we want to be investing in cryptocurrencies early. And if that's something you want to know more about, check out my book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. You can find it on Amazon or in a bookstore. Now it's time to announce the winners of the drawing for the book reviews. First, I want to say thank you so much for your reviews. I read each and every one of them and they amazed me. I was so pleased to hear what you thought of my book, how it's making a difference in your life, and how you're putting what you learned into action. So now it's time to announce the winners of the drawing. Here are the winners of an autographed copy of Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. Realize that some people's names are in code, so you might recognize your name by three letters or initials or a funny name that you've used. And if you recognize your name, I'm going to ask you at the end to send me an email. And that's how we will communicate and I'll find out where to send the book to. So the first winner is Vera W. Congratulations. The second winner of an autographed book is Natasha. The third is K.S. Lowe, L-O-W-E. The fourth winner is SHR, capital C. The fifth winner is DJB, like David John Boy. The sixth winner is Amber Watson Tardiff. The seventh winner is Matthew H. Number eight is SLS, Sam Larry Sam. Number nine is Crystal Pisinic, P I C I N I C. Number 10 is M. K E M capital K. Number 11 is Mike Nichols. Number 12, Christopher Locatel. Number 13, Hanky. Number 14, Vanu. It's V A N U. Number 15, Shelley from New Jersey. Number 16, Matt Mann. Number 17, Elizabeth Curie. Number 18, Dono, D A W N O. Number 19, VXX, Victor X-Ray X-Ray. Number 20, Valerie. Number 21, TB, Tom Boy. Number 22, Rhonda K. Number 23, Robert. Number 24, Jan P, like Peter. And number 25 is Anonymous. And their headline that Anonymous wrote so that we know it's the right Anonymous, their headline said, might be the most important book you'll read in 2022. So thank you to everyone who wrote a review. You've all won an autographed copy of Three Steps to Quantum Wealth. If you would like me to personalize it, let me know to whom and I'll need an address to send it to. So please email me at lpjhome.com. H-O-M-E at gmail.com. Let me know how you'd like it personalized or if you just want it signed and your address where I can mail it to you. Thank you so much. All right, next is the person who's won a 30-minute wealth mentoring session with me. This is a session where we're going to talk about whatever you'd like to talk about, whether it's finance or podcasting or whatever you'd like to discuss. And that goes to Brittany, B-R-I-T-T-N-Y. Congratulations. Please send me an email at lpjhome at gmail.com and let me know some days and times that work for you. Next is our winner of $100 of my favorite cryptocurrency, XRP. 
And that goes to Kelly Farley. Kelly, congratulations. Please send me an email at lpjhome at gmail.com and we'll connect and figure out how to get your wallet address so I can send you $100 worth of XRP. And our grand prize winner wins a lifetime membership in the Be Wealthy and Smart VIP Experience, my inside investing circle. And the winner of this is Marla Pennington. Marla, congratulations. Please email me at lpjhome at gmail.com and we'll talk about details. So this was so helpful to not only hear from you and hear the reviews and get all your feedback, but also I love the giveaway and I want to incent you to anyone who hasn't yet left a review to go ahead and do that. And we're going to have another contest just like this six weeks from now. So anyone who hasn't left a review, if you write a review, you will be entered into a contest to win an autographed copy of my book, a one-on-one wealth mentoring session with me, $100 of XRP cryptocurrency, or a lifetime membership in the VIP experience. And those winners will be announced at the deadline of our next contest, which will be on the March 7th podcast. I'll announce those winners. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.